Late in the week, we got word the president had reached a ceasefire of sorts with the European Union. Still a lot of train issues to be worked out. And then there's that $12 billion relief plan. We have a reaction to all of this from Nebraska Farm Bureau. Well, uh, certainly there, there would be some appreciation for what President Trump is doing. And, and it's important, I think, to understand that the president uh, believes that he's doing the right thing uh, as far as trade goes. At the same time, what I think is most important is that we get some trade deals done. And, and first of all, starting with our closest neighbors of Mexico and Canada, uh, the former NAFTA agreement, whether it turns out to be called NAFTA or not, when, when we get this done, uh, <clears throat> it's my understanding that we're close on those, those two agreements, and I think it's important that we get those done. Those would be helpful uh, to farmers and ranchers who are seeing depressed prices because uh, not only the fact that we have a good crop growing in the field in most cases, but that uh, we have all of these issues with trade taking place. Would you like to see some of those tariffs rolled back at all? Well, I, I think history will tell us that tariffs do not help. Trade wars are not easy to win. And in, in most cases, uh, when you look back, the tariffs were not helpful. Uh, the, the fact of the matter is that we're in the circumstance that we are, and so what do we do from here? So, again, I keep coming back to the importance of getting trade deals done. I could talk about TPP for an extended period of time, the fact that the president pulled us out of TPP uh, after the election, but promised that he would do bilateral trade agreements with those countries. And, and again, that's something that we need to get done. You know, our numbers showed that TPP would have provided about 400 plus billion dollars of trade, uh, new trade for agriculture over a 10 year period. So when you look at a $12 billion package to, to uh, help with the circumstance that we're in at the same time, we're, we're losing roughly $40 billion of trade per year uh, by not having that one agreement. So again, we continue to talk about how important it would be to get trade deals done. Uh, doing a trade deal with Japan and other TP countries, TPP countries, uh, uh, even bilateral trade agreements with those countries as the president talks about would be very good for agriculture. Yeah, so that comparison, it sounds like this um, aid wouldn't really even be a drop in the bucket for producers. Well, and, and we'll wait and see because we don't know the exact details. The, the, uh, the $12 billion, although sounds like a lot of money, of course, in the, in the scope of things, uh, may not be very much. And then if you divide it between the three programs that they talk about and then you divide what would come uh, to farmers uh, over several commodities, corn, soybeans, uh, wheat, dairy, pork have all been mentioned. So if you divide whatever portion uh, would come directly to farmers uh, over those commodities, you can see that the pie could get sliced pretty thin. And so we'll, we should know fairly soon more details about the program. I know the, the expected rollout time is around the 1st of September. So, so I'm sure as the days go by, we will learn more details as far as how that program will work. But again, it really does come back down to the need to get trade deals done and probably should go roll into China just a little bit because uh, China is a little bit of a different uh, circumstance. We know there's a lot of issues with China that need to be dealt with. And unfortunately, uh, I think that it could take a considerable amount of time. Well, I know the administration is hopeful that those, uh, those issues can be resolved quickly. I fear that, that it will take longer than they think. Well, thank you so much for joining us, You're Steve. very welcome. Rainy weather gives crops a boost. We'll have that next after weather. And later, a unique experience for deaf students on the farm. Stay with us.